I'm making a monster collector game. Well, at least I'm working on the concept for one. I don't have any plans to code or design it at the moment, but now would be a great time to at least have an idea of what kind of mechanics you can expect. But now would be a great time. <laughs> but now would be a great time to have an idea of what kind of mis If you missed my last video, we made five new starters, albeit without any actual mechanics or moves or detail on how they function in the game itself. So I feel like having an idea of what, how the game actually is going to play would help us flesh out those starters and the future monsters we introduce. So I want this to be different from games like Pokemon, and I wanted to cater more to my personal interests, while also still pulling a lot from a classic monster collector style. So the core gameplay loop in say Pokemon, is to catch a Pokemon to battle other Pokemon, and then you had to catch new Pokemon to battle other Pokemon, and then you had to win battles to find more kinds of Pokemon to catch. And every battle you makes your Pokemon stronger, which means winning battle makes it easier to win future battles against harder opponents. This is a fantastic method to guide the player through the game. The desire to see your progress increase and become the champion is very strong. While I think this is amazing and I may pull from it for my own design, I'd like a slightly different focus. So let's get started with the surprising new features that my monster collector might have. Number 5. Open World Having an open world in a video game isn't very groundbreaking at this point. I mean, even in a Pokemon game, it's not unheard of. Very little of this world will be restricted to you as a player. You will be able to travel anywhere you like. Certain buildings or certain events you won't be able to enter depending on the time or your own credentials, but it helps you keep from getting swamped with balancing issues since you're kind of allowed to go anywhere you like. The really surprising thing isn't the fact that it's open world. The surprising feature is that there is no starter town. When you boot up this game, you would have a screen where you pick which town you live in. Every town on the map at the moment will have the option for you to start in it, barring only two, one being an active military base and the other being a restricted area that you have to find your own way onto. Number four, critter relationships. The goal of the game, or why I'm making the game at all, is because I loved the idea of having all these creatures and being able to be their best friend. I don't want you to catch a critter and then never go look at it again. If you have a critter and you don't have a strong relationship with them, they simply will not do what you tell them to, which of course mirrors a real life animal. If you get a horse and you don't take the time to train it, you're not going to be able to ride that horse anywhere, will you? Number three, breeding mechanics. Breeding is nothing new in any kind of pet collector. I would like to be a little bit more intentional with the breeding mechanic and have it as a much more important part of the game. In this game, you will be able to breed your critters together. Having two of the same critter will make it more likely that you can get rare genetic versions. So as Pokemon has things like shinies, um, these critters will have different morphs, which is a different color pattern than they usually have. Rather than having one alternative form, I would like there to be a few successively more rare color combinations for the critter. I know adding multiple versions of the same creature might uh, bloat the game slightly and make it more difficult to design, so I'm not exactly sure how much I can add. Basically, my goal is to have at least one rare version of each creature and keep adding them as I'm able. Number two, you don't have to fight. Okay, this is kind of insane for a genre that's pretty much all battling. At least a big question of, wait, what do you even do? <laughs> well, I did mention the breeding aspect, the home design, the leveling up your relationship with your critters. There's a lot of other things to do other than battling. But if you pay attention, you'll notice that I said you just don't have to fight. If you want to fight, you have to seek out battles on your own terms. You can only battle in proper arenas, and that means you need to visit your local battle arena to find someone to challenge. And number one, no PC. Of course, in Pokemon, you store everything you catch in a PC or a Pokeball. You don't have to have your 
Pokemon chasing you around everywhere, and you definitely don't have to fit them in your mom's tiny house. In this game, it's a little different. You know how I mentioned that you can pick your starter house? Uh, that starter house is going to be pretty big, and it's going to have space to hold a few creatures in it. Those empty houses that you didn't start in, you can actually purchase later on to have more storage for more critters. I want each critter, again, to feel important, and I don't want you to just shove them out of the way once you've caught them. Of course, there will be temporary housing solutions, like small enclosures that they can stay in while you get ready for their proper enclosure, and they won't die or have any negative effects if you leave them cooped up for a while, but they will be incapable of raising their relationship with you until they are properly cared for. So these are the five surprising features that my Monster Collector game will have. Did any of these actually surprise you? Do any of these sound controversial or unentertaining to you? I understand that these are not going to be everybody's favorite things, and honestly, I'm okay with that. Uh, like I said, I don't know if this is actually going to be made at any point, considering I'm not a coder. I'm kind of just making ideas that I enjoy, so if I need to, at any point, streamline- <laughs> Dog, making what weird noises? <laughs> Chill!